last letters, the last oath of each of those words end with a, a yud, symbolizing the 40 days that Moshe went up to receive the Ruchot Shniot, and he was in Har Sinai for 40 days. This is a time of Eis Ratzon. This is a very, very unique time when God is closer to us and we close to Him. And we know that we have to emulate many of His attributes. And in a sense, the Ani with Dodi with Dodi Li is something that uh, is true in a marriage as well. Uh, I remember speaking to Emmanuel on the phone. And I said the following to him. Uh, Emmanuel, you can verify, if you can remember. I said that Emmanuel was a very fortunate boy. That he had chosen well. <laughs> And it's not just because I am no Geaba Tafar, or my wife. The fact of the matter is that Hani is very, very unique in that she is intelligent, sensitive, loving, caring, deeply, deeply religious, and thus is able to convince others through her work of being a Mikarevet to others that are less fortunate, that don't really have the experience, the spiritual experience yet. She has a wonderful sense of humor and something that maybe you have not experienced yet, uh, Emmanuel. She also has a beautiful vocal voice <laughs> and also plays the guitar exceedingly well. And she's beautiful. Yes, that too. <laughs> Now, the fact of the matter is, Emmanuel, so it won't be one-sided. I don't know you for that long, but I do believe that Hani has chosen well as well. Oh. <laughs> In seeing you uh, over Pesach, we met, and just seeing the way you conduct yourself as such a mensch, as a ben Torah, as someone who is refined, gentlemanly, uh, these are qualities uh, that we find as well uh, in your parents and in their reputation.